Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, a short TA video on this beautiful morning to see what Bitcoin will be doing for us this week. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts. Um, I'm still arriving in the Netherlands, so family visits, all that stuff. So uh, soon, I will start to show you around the Venlo city. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts. Yeah, this is the first one guys for our chart um i don't know if you remember this but in the last couple of weeks we had the support of this 14.59 uh, fibonacci level every time you see we found the support over there over there always every time now we are coming down again so we tried to break the 200 day moving average which is resistance uh, be aware this 200 day moving average will become important later in the video again um so this one is finding a resistance over there so we are falling all the way back <clears throat> all the way maybe again to that level of that fibonacci retracement and that is forty thousand seven hundred and fifty. um i don't want this but that is what the charts show is us now um if we zoom in a little bit in this period and we open here down below the new bam bam indicator combo we can see that uh, the bam bam here at this point gave long you see the long flag but there was so much blue c that that is not a valid long there was no candle above the other stepping line uh, when we came green there was still a lot of c so that's not a good long we are waiting for a long like this one no c just green hills so um, let's see how long it will take and um, i believe that we maybe dip a little bit more and then we'll go into the long but i will show you on the uh, next shot over here this is the day channel on this day channel we can see uh, again the 200 day moving average that red line resistance and we also see this one here the 50 moving uh, day moving average and when the 50 crosses that red line that is a very bullish moment like for example over here when we cross that red line bullish <clears throat> Till we cross that deadline, we can go up, but when we cross it, that is bullish. So this curling up is happening at the moment. We can see this. This was the bottom. Here we start to curl up. So here we saw the price going up. Now we want this one to go up and cross that red line. And um, the support on this chart, on the day chart, is here around this yellow line, 41,400. But um, the green line is at 41, 900,000. So this area is acting as support at the moment. That's really beautiful to see. Um, if you want to trade all these signals, the BAM BAM indicator and all that stuff, guys, then please use the links down below um, my videos. These links are the, there for a reason because I can give you up to $11,000 bonuses if you deposit on these exchanges, up to $4,000 bonus at Bybit with a 30% fee discount, up to $5,000 bonus on OKX, <coughs> Femex, Prime Equity, all of these give you bonuses when you deposit some Bitcoins. Now, let's zoom out a little bit more. The Gaussian channel, talked about it many times, that one turned red, we don't like that at all, every candle is five days, um, the positive part is that the next candle that we are building now, which it will take four days and 18 hours, so it just started, uh, looks like it wants to become green. Please let it be a green candle and please let us break that midline of 47,000 because if this stays resistance, guys, we will fall back to 38 and maybe even lower, guys, to 34. So um, this is an important chart. We have always had troubles with getting out of the Gaussian channel, but when we get out, it is fireworks. So as you can see, every time when we get in the Gaussian channel, we got in here it took us a very long time all the way to there to get out and if you want to know how long that took then we will measure exactly from here to there and that was 55 bars and every bar is five days so that's 275 days that's almost a year in this Gaussian channel before we broke out that's a long flag that happens when you have the bam bam indicator you get long flags on trading view but also in discord or on your telephone or whatever yes 
every time we get into these um, situations over here again we got in from there and we got out over there 400 days not positive so i don't like this but we need to live with it and we need to expect bitcoin to be showing its power and changing the complete market and the structure of the past two bull years uh, bull runs to see something else happening also very important to see is how long have we been in this um, caution channel at the moment that's also a very long time because uh, we got in over here let's let's take this candle and at the moment we are already in it for 60 bars 300 days so we are already in it for a year yes i agree um, we went a little bit out here but we came back in that's the same kind of dip that we saw uh, previously so for example here we went in uh, we came out a little bit but then we went back in till we broke out completely and retested so at the moment we are already in this one for 60 bars almost and it's almost 300 days so yes that's uh, a long time but that's also indicating we should be breaking out anytime soon uh, but it can take a couple of weeks so zoom out and chill out and it is also what we see on the weekly on the weekly we had this huge nice pump we came above the red line we came above the yellow stepping line and then we had this indecisive candle that didn't know what to do and now this candle uh, dumped bam down below that red and that yellow line so the red and the yellow line are now not crossing but they are like evenly and this candle again now is opening it will close in six days and 17 hours let's hope for a very 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 bullish candle and that rsi uh, will break this white line over here um, eh, you could kind of do it like this what i always did but you know we we, we need to break this line like and go up to these levels of 70 again to um, become more bullish because the MACD yes we switch to green but like you can see all the green bars are the same height and um, normally in bullish markets we come larger 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 so we want more volume and more larger bars over there as well um yeah doubtful but i am still bullish because if you zoom out long enough bam then you understand that on the monthly chart um, we are just getting started in bitcoin and if we look at the logarithmic growth curve on the monthly chart maybe i can zoom out a little bit more look this is complete bitcoin history on the monthly and um, then you can just see that we have been moving up and down and up and down and up and down and we will move up again somewhere in the future and that is what i'm going to show you with the next couple of charts now um, on the monthly again up zoom in a little bit these three lines are of importance the 200 weekly moving average which is now at uh, almost 21k and um, the blue line the 21 monthly average that one is now at 38,900 39k and that orange one the 12 is at 44,900 that orange one we need to break above in 19 days and 17 hours this candle really needs to above break above this close above this orange line okay not only break it but close above it that would be very positive now do i have anything else yes i have some more charts oh, okay oh, it's already seven minutes Gee, man talk slow uh, faster <laughs> now let's go over bam here um, okay i will put it here on charts btc uh yes charts btc this one but i open my face now on it and um, this is the active supply uh, percentage trailing in years trading year now i know you have seen the other way around these charts but that is the inactive this is what is active it was a lot of activity in bitcoin a lot of bitcoins were used active you know actively used and it became less and less and that is also what we've seen in the opposite charts yes the inactive amount is becoming higher so we have a new all-time high on inactive um uh, bitcoins which means there is also an all-time low in active bitcoins we have a 30 percent all-time low in active bitcoins and like you can see the first peak very active less active again less active 
again less active and um, i think the next peak will be again less active more bitcoin will be huddled and that is really cool to see now if we combine that with the 200 day moving average because that is the chart that um, that's why i said uh, the 200 day moving average will become important later in the video as well um because if we look at this you can look at this at the in a few uh, ways um yes big time less active so more bitcoins in a cold storage huddled uh, than on uh, actively used on exchange um but the cool part i think is look at look at those green parts so this green part you see and this green part and this green part and now this green part the thing you need to understand now is these green parts don't take forever these green parts means the Bitcoin price is 10% uh, below the 200 day moving average. These don't take long. And when these green parts change into in yellowish again, and here orange is again, Bitcoin is moving up strongly. Do you see this? Every time when this ends, the green becomes yellow, even less Bitcoins are active, and you see this reaction of the price, bam. Here, the greens become yellow over there. Bitcoin, after that words, bam, go up. Yes, the yellow is going down, but it becomes more Bitcoins, um, less Bitcoins become active, but the price is reacting strongly to the upside. Here, the same. Green starts to change in yellowish. Yellow goes even more down, so less active. The price goes up. Here, we see this green, but believe me, this is not going to stay green. This is going to turn yellow somewhere in the next couple of days or weeks. And if that one turns yellow, that would again indicate the perfect moment to buy Bitcoins because we would expect the huge price reaction. Okay, now one more chart. That is this one. This is a Mayan multiple um, uh, with a one year active 200 day moving average combination, uh, even more. Uh, information in one chart and um, charts B to C really cool um, keep doing what you do I, I really like the way you simplify the charts um, and for me to make use of them in the videos uh, so shout out to charts B to C guys so here you can see the same <coughs> this purple line and the Maya multiple are kind of moving in the same way and when the Maya multiple dips uh, below the 0 0.5 level here below the 0 0.5 level we see that that green in the one year active to add to on a day moving average 10 percent down below it um, is bottoming out and turning purplish again see every time when it dips and after that it turns purplish you see the maya multiple going back again to the 2.0 level here this levels and these levels when these are reach uh, and above are these ultimate peaks the blow of tops you see this here we go so i already see the maya multiple it's turning around it's kind of forming a w so this is positive this is still green but the moment this one turns purple this one is going to be above one and it's going to hunt for the two level which would mean that new of the next part of the bull run in 2022 now, that was everything for today. I hope it was very clear. I talked a little bit more slowly so people understand it a little bit better. To sum up everything I said, um, maybe you should start to believe uh, this. You just say goodbye to the banks and you start to buy Bitcoins with the B of Bitcoins. Now, that was everything. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about this beautiful week? Uh, are we going to be bullish or bearish? Uh, what did we do last Easter weeks in our history of Bitcoin? Check it. Um, and thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Hopefully then I will be walking past this beautiful river, the Mars, and then <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bam.